is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, FA Nation? John Pemba here with James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We got nine games here on a Wednesday, and it is going to be a doozy. Dallas at Minnesota. Dallas has already ruled out Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving for this game. Denver's in OKC. OKC has already ruled out Jalen Williams for this game, while also listing Shai Gilgis Alexander. Chad Holmgren and Lou Dort as questionable to play in this matchup here. Uh, LaMelo Ball, as we know, is going to be questionable. Cade Cunningham is probable. Miles Bridges is questionable. A lot of injury news on this slate. May have a returning Darius Garland for Cleveland. Something to watch for there. Uh, Ben Simmons made his return the other night. We saw what he was able to do. Keldon Johnson is questionable to play. Isaiah Stewart already ruled out for Detroit. Dante Exum is questionable uh, and this is just what we have now. Uh, as we go through the day on Wednesday, I'm sure more names will pop up. More guys will get ruled out. Uh, so four nine games. It starts with the Clippers against the Wizards uh, and finishes off at 8.30 with Phoenix, Brooklyn. Uh, a lot of news jam-packed into an hour and a half worth of games. Yeah, a lot of news. Um, multiple massive spreads. Uh Three spreads over 12 points. OKC somehow still favorited. Uh, I guess they, you know, we don't know if they're officially out, but um, minus one and a half in that one. Like it's, there's a lot of things we may talk about tonight that might not matter tomorrow, just given yep. the statuses of, of all these guys. So uh, I'm ready to break it down and, and uh, bring the, bring the, the passion and the fire. Yeah, let's yeah, just get into it. Like I said, we'll talk game totals and spreads as we come across it. Some of them we have, some we don't. Uh, but at the point guard position, your top two point guards on the slate are either out or questionable to play. Uh, it'll Doncic and SGA. Below them, we have Booker, Mitchell, Ball. Those are your guys up over 9K. Again, Mitchell may be having to contend with Darius Garland returning. Evan Mobley returned the other night on a limited fashion. Uh, Booker against Brooklyn on the road here at $9,700. Again, we don't know the status. Uh, of LaMelo Ball, doubtful to play in this game, so more than likely not going to suit up against Chicago, who, who took a tough loss against Toronto. They'll be on a back-to-back. You know, I don't really find myself looking to play anybody here. I mean, SGA, if he's in at home, would be, I guess, appealing, but you know, I don't know. Booker's at 97. I know he's been really good, but is he your... I guess he would be your one spend-up here at, the, at this position? Yes. Booker would be the one guy. Um, big minutes. He's on a heater. Wasn't great in the Miami game, still came away with 47 fantasy points because his peripheral stats are continue to be really solid. So uh, it would be Booker for me above 9K. Um, I would, I'd be okay getting to Donnie at 96. I like, I expect Garland to be back, but I also think that there's going to be some type of limitations. I know it was a draw. I know it wasn't like anything that should really lead to cardio but he had his mouth sewn shut sure so like i don't know how much you could physically do like running when your mouth is sewn shut like you're probably not able to breathe all that Maybe well in that he, regard he one of the best rap songs all of all time through the wire true you know? that is also that also could be the case um shout out kanye for that but um like i still would get to donovan mitchell it's detroit as long as now the problem is obviously competitiveness in this game. Mm-hmm. Cleveland's blowing everybody out and now are basically a fully healthy right. team. Um, below that, I mean, we have Darren Fox at eighty seven hundred dollars. I mean, again, another price is kind of coming down a little bit on him. Um, I, why is he not consistently priced up with the other guards? Like, is it just simply Sabonis algo impacting him here? Like, what it, is it? Harry B? Like, what what's going on here with? with Fox being, you know, always in this low 9K, 8K range? I don't know. Um, Because you look through, I mean, like, obviously 38 doesn't get you there, but 52, 42, 43, 51, 47 in five of the last seven games get get you there. So, um, yeah, I mean, not the worst spot. The, The Heat are in a tailspin. They can't defend. They can't offend. (laughs) <laughs> like they, 
They can't score. They can't. Yeah, Terry Rozier actually had a good shooting, uh, scoring night the other night, but I mean, it came at the expense of other guys on their team. Yeah. So you know, maybe Rozier wasn't the right fit for them. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see how it all plays out. Uh, Harden at 85. I mean, we're going to love a lot of Clippers against the Wizards, but this game is going to likely not be competitive. So yes. um, yeah, Harden sometimes plays a lot of minutes in non-competitive games. He played 35 minutes here. Again, they won by 20 against Toronto. Played 38 minutes. He's played 41. Again, they won by 14. So, like, you know, he sometimes does stay on the floor in these situations. But $8,500, I, I worry a little bit there. Um, Edwards at 83, but Dallas isn't going to have anybody. Jamal Murray at 81 is a good price, but against what on OKC? Point guard matches for Charlotte's been the go to. Kobe White on a back to back. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely interested here. I think even in the bad games shooting, he still had like pretty solid output. Um, like because he's been good peripherally. So, and he plays just 40 minutes a night. So there's no reason not to think Kobe White would, um, not be in play here. Um, the, on the Harden front, John, yep. something that you and I have talked about on a, a couple of occasions with teams, do you think that this could apply here? Harden, or just the Clippers in general, this is their fourth straight road game. Um, and we've seen uh, at times teams just kind of hang mail around. <laughs> not not mail in, but like hang around um, yeah. with teams that they probably shouldn't. Like, I, for example, the Wizards on that OKC, like, fourth night. It was, like, the right. third game in four nights in Washington. You're like, well, hmm. Like, if this – I mean, OKC is on the road a lot here. This is the four – I'm just saying, like, yeah, fourth for sure. straight road game. And and if you – Paul George is still on this limit. Like, in a game that they were down 10, they lost by 10 to Cleveland, he played 27 minutes. Like, there's – Clearly some limitations on Paul George, which obviously leads to more reliance on the likes of Harden and Kawhi. So just just pointing that out, like it maybe yeah. there is a chance that Washington could keep it more competitive, considering maybe the Clippers look a little sluggish or aren't defending, be, flying around defensively because it is their fourth straight road game, fifth game in or fourth game in what five five or fourth game in six nights. So yeah. just throwing that out there. Sure. Um, anybody else in this tier? Um, other than Kobe White, um, I mean, like, um, you got my column down at $6,900. Nice. Um, yeah, you know, it's one of those things where you never know who's going to go off for the, but McCollum was in a really tough spot, right? Got clamped yeah. down by Boston. Didn't do anything peripherally. 7 for 14 shooting really tough spot. Chalk that up. Not that this is like the easiest spot, but I would yeah. consider getting 6,900 for um, CJ McCollum. Um, other than that, I mean, we have to talk about Jalen Green, right? right? That That is probably... Yeah, we, we, we go through these spurts, but like, when was he a rebounder? No, this like was... When, no, this is... Cra this is... When was he ever a rebounder, right? Like three straight double-digit rebounding games? I mean... This is different. This was not this was not expected, right? Like I, no, no. I mean, dude, he's he, he, he went from zero. a zero rebound game <laughs> no, to three zero. straight double digit rebound games. That is actually a like the biggest turnaround you could possibly have. Uh, um, like I think there's, it's obviously like we know he can score at times and he's been amazing in that aspect. I think it does help playing with Van Vliet and Shingoon. Like those are two elite passers. Yeah. If they keep deferring to Jalen Green, then sure. But uh, I do think the rebounds are more of an aberration, right? I mean we but is he gonna be able to board this way against the Pelicans? Um no. I I'm looking oh, up Jones is questionable for this game too, by the way. So like it does take a good defender off the floor. It does take a good defender off the floor. Um, let's Assuming look. He doesn't play. So I just want to. I'm just curious. I'm just looking at um, potential rebounds here for Jalen Green. Like, is he just getting really lucky? He's averaged 14 potential rebounds per game over his last three. 
And he's just pulling them all down? And he's pulling them all down. I mean, that's, like, a good number, but, like, that's not a big discrepancy between um, rebounds and opportunity, right? Like, that's... Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm skeptical that the rebounds continue, um, but also, even if they don't, maybe the scoring will, because if you're scoring 34, 36, 29 in three of the last four, like, yeah, that's also good enough, um, to get us there. Yep. Um, you'd see, if you think that the Washington keeps it close, Tyus Jones probably has something to do with it. 37 fantasy points for him against, uh, his brother, Trey Jones there against San Antonio. Oh, they're running. We're running it back. Oh no, no, we. Oh, I was, no, like, I was just mentioning his most recent matchup he there. He did have uh, a good game. He did. Yeah, have a good he's been really good for a lot lately. Here, he so has sixty three hundred dollars again. If you think that Washington stays close, gotta think Tyus has a little bit to do with that. Well, you know, we hear uh, there's the little rumblings that he may be on the uh, on the move, so he wants to play well for his potential next team, right? True. Next week, trade deadline here. How do we approach Ben Simmons? Came back, played just 18 <laughs> minutes, hit every shot, nearly triple doubled, vintage Ben Simmons game. Got to had assume some, the minutes cap will increase gradually with him. Had some amazing quotes. Did you hear the quotes? I didn't. He said, every every time I step on the floor, I'm a fast break. I thought that was fast like, break like your back fast break or he's a fast he's a fast break. Like so, he's just, something on him will break fast. Is that yeah, what that's that's a, ooh nice. Yeah. Maybe it was a maybe he meant it as a double entendre, but like nobody took it that way. It was like right. wow, Ben Simmons is talking about how fast Brooklyn's gonna play. And I mean, hello, like we kind of talked about it. Ben Simmons is a really good fit for this team. Like I wasn't saying that hello to you, but like. It is something like Cam Johnson, ceiling scoring game, three for four from three. Hey, Cam Thomas, 25 actual 40 fantasy points. Hey, Mikhail Bridges, 33 actual six four, six made threes. Do you think that's like all coincidental that Ben Simmons steps back and suddenly Brooklyn scores 150 points? Like if they're going to, you're right on like the gradual front um, because he missed 38 consecutive games yeah. so i can't imagine he plays 30 but if we get into the low 20s you know i mean i'm, I'm not like there's a lot of people in this same tier that are the same play ben simmons josh giddy russell westbrook are, aren't those three plays the same well giddy is interesting because this team might not be there he might not <laughs> be there do we know if okc plays on thursday uh we will find out right now uh, OKC does not play on Thursday. Uh, Cleveland plays on Thursday. They are the only team on this slate on the front leg of a back-to-back. -back. Okay. So we have confirmation Jalen Williams is out. Yeah. That is definitively the news where everyone else is questionable. When is OKC's next game? I'm surprised that all these guys are – this is a rest spot. They play Friday at home against Charlotte, which will – just play the over SGA that day. Right. Um, <laughs> well, cause like the Williams ankle thing was like real. Like he turned his ankle, left yeah. that game, didn't come back. And they're home as well. So they're home day off home for the, so you have like two days. Oh yeah. Friday. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Cool. Um, okay. I mean, if Giddy, you already assume Giddy's getting a bump regardless. Cause Jay Isaiah Joe is also already out. Isaiah Joe's already out. Um, Fifty nine hundred is is really interesting. Also, his minutes have typically, other than like the Minnesota game, been better at home this year. They he averages more minutes at home. It's not like a big margin, but there is a margin where he is averaging a few more minutes at home. So if SJ is out, Case and Wallace, uh, Williams yes. starts or Wallace starts. Case and Wallace, rather. yeah, Case and Wallace starts. Right. Um. If Dort's out and Jalen Williams, like what's that starting lineup look like? And Chet. And Chet. So if you, you're you're Jaylen hypothesizing why, right? You're hypothesizing all of them out. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I'm so just trying to figure that, it out. I'm just trying I to think, figure it out. I think in that it would be Giddy Wallace, Kenrich, Kenrich, Giddy Wallace, Aaron sure. uh, Aaron Wiggins. We've seen Aaron Wiggins start a lot. Giddy Wallace, Jalen Williams, 
would be my assumption, especially if Jokic plays, because they use bigs. They play Jalen Williams when there's an like yeah. a big guy like Jokic. Uh, but Jokic might also also play. Uh, so TBD on that, I guess. Um, Giddy, Wallace, Wiggins, Jalen Williams, someone like probably like a Lindy Waters or Usman Jang or something like that. I I don't think they could do no the Wiggins. <laughs> I wish. You and I both wish. Um, the thing, only reason I would say that Wiggins, I mean, I guess Wiggins is shooting 55% from three. So I guess you could, I guess you could space the floor. Maybe you do Wiggins and Kenrich. Maybe it's both of them. Um, okay. I was, cause I was about to say maybe they don't have enough shooting. And then I saw Aaron Wiggins is shooting 55% from three uh, as their 11th man this year. So I guess. Exactly. <laughs> I guess that wouldn't be an issue. This basically, because be yeah. Kaysen, by the way, forty three percent from three. Yeah. Uh, Wiggins fifty five. Kendrick Williams, John. Can you guess what Kendrick Williams is shooting from three? Fifty percent. Thirty nine percent, which is still yeah. way above league average. Better than uh, I would have expected. Yeah. What do you? Th- and then Jalen Williams, uh, thirty five. So the fun ruined. The fun was ruined by Jalen Williams. Um. All right. So we have Giddy down there. Uh, Tyus is. I mean, Trey Jones is here. Yep. Uh, Trey Jones. You know, not as top performance against Washington. His brother got the better of him in this one. Yep. Uh, Orlando, not always like the greatest matchup either for guards, but $5,800 still for him is, is appealing. It is. Um, he continues to step, stuff the Sashi too. I mean, two assists there, you know, and the narrative is different. He probably has another 33 yep. fantasy point game. And then we're like, Oh, okay. That was, that was fun. That was another fun game from Trey Jones. Yep, agreed. Uh, working our way down here. I mean, there's Jordan Poole, there's Malik Monk, Fultz. Um, anybody else? D- AO had a huge game. Should have been more if they wouldn't just keep stack correcting his defensive stats here. He's 46. Chalk Monster, Jaden Hardy with yeah. no Kyrie or, or no Luca or Kyrie in this game. So if you remember, this happened. And it was it was when Houston was good. Do you remember this game? And this Houston, yeah, Houston won by like fifty. Uh, uh, it was no, early. No. It was a early game this year. This one, twenty-four um, minutes. Houston, and it was twenty-six, but it was like a forty-point game. Yeah, she took seventeen shots in that game, and they just got absolutely torched. Um, but the seventeen shots were there, so it's gonna be there again. All Jaden Hardy all the time. I don't know if this game can, will stay competitive, but they just don't have the bodies, right? Mm -hmm. But I do think this is a situation, and we kind of got stuck in the mud the last time this happened. We legitimately have to look at the backups, like the backups, backups. the AJ Lawson's, the guys that are probably going to definitely get called up from the G League, you know, like all that stuff. So. I love Hardy in this spot because I don't think there's an, a way that he doesn't play high 20s to 40 and minutes in this game shots. and take 17 shots. But it, should, it is something to consider for like the rest of the Dallas Mavs that we yeah. have to we have to affect. And they still have Hardaway, who is going to take a, a billion shots as well. So Yeah, he's, the, he's going to be in there for a good time, not a long time, that's for sure. I agreed. Anybody else for your point guard? Kaysen Wallace, if he's, sure. if he's starting, um, would probably be... The only other, only other name. Okay. Uh, shooting guard position, talk Booker Mitchell already. Anthony Edwards is 83, but again, no one made there. George on the limit. Ingram, 75. Mikel Bridges, 73. Revenge game. Vassell is up to 68. Uh, what are we doing down here at shooting guard? I I, uh, I need to go back. Josh Richardson, um, again, he's Josh Richardson, but he's $3,100. He's played 24 minutes in back-to-back games. He's a point guard only. Um, Duncan Robinson's out. Sure. I, I'm just saying. I, I was just looking through, like, why is someone averaging 19 fantasy points a game down here? And yeah. then it was Jefferson. Um, I'd probably take a shot at 3,100. Okay. Probably. Back to shooting guard, then. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to, like, yeah, but that was a... Fine. No, that's fine. For a nine-game slate, 3,100, going to play 25 minutes. You got to at least give him some consideration there. Um, top half of shooting guard guys that are, uh, you know, seven can above. So I don't know, like if you think 
Dallas has any sliver of hope to keep this game competitive. Mike Conley's questionable again. We're going to get a lot of ant on the ball situations, so you can definitely get there. Not a lot, not a lot of interest in Paul George while he's limited until we hear that he's not. Um, I'm yep. probably just going to keep fading him. Ingram had the big game the other day. He's now scored the basketball really well in back-to-back games. He's also been really good peripherally. Like the assists have been largely there other than like random one assist games in between. So I'm definitely interested there. And then the Bridges thing, dude, 24 shots was amazing to see. It's not going to get any worse with Ben Simmons back. Like he's going Mm -hmm. to get set up by Ben Simmons early and often in this game. Um, Even though Simmons didn't start, I believe Finney Smith is like ruled out for the next couple weeks. I'm going to probably keep clicking on Mikel Bridges' name in this mid-tier. 7,300, shooting guard, small forward. Like, yeah. a lot of things line up for, for Bridges here. Yeah, I'm, I'm 100% okay going there. Uh, 6K tier, Ivy. Brandon Miller was really good the other day. Um, you have, again, a lot of the guys we discussed. Cam Thomas is here at $6,300. Hardaway at 6K. Um, Do we expect the same Charlotte lineup? where they didn't start a point guard and they just like used Miller bridges. Probably. What's the bridges status? Cause he's questionable, right? Uh, bridges is probable. Okay. Then yeah, I would assume so. Um, because it was fine. Right. Like that, they went double big. Um, like if Miller, I mean, I, I'm okay getting to Miller either way. Yeah. He can shoot and Chicago. We've talked about it a lot lately. Gives up a lot of made threes. So yeah. Brandon Miller, 6,600 is a, is a fine floor spacer for them. Um, I, same thing as my Mikel Bridges interest is Cam Thomas. 31 minutes in the starting lineup again. The peripheral stats have definitely been better for Cam Thomas of late. Yep. It was something that we worried about earlier in the year. Now we're getting scoring on top of that. And again, paired with Ben Simmons, four made threes. Like, love both. Brooklyn guys at this price, uh, at this price range. What do we think? Like how much, if you're making 20 lineups, and this is my question, how many like legitimate question first, do you think the game can and will stay competitive? Secondly, is Tim Hardaway like, I mean, dude, he's already shooting a ton. He is. I'm just, I'm just, if it like, stays competitive, it's probably cause he's, Spraying, here, right? Just knocking spraying. down shots. So yeah, agreed. That's kind of my opinion on it. Um, I, I don't mind rostering him at 6K in, in tournaments yeah. for sure, especially those guys out. I bet ownership tomorrow probably has some interest uh, in him uh, as well. Yep. Uh, under 6K, guys like Malik Monk are here. Max Struess, Kevin Horder, Alec Burks, Dylan Brooks. What are what are our thoughts in this grouping? Um. The Monk minutes are just not getting better mm-hmm. with the way that Harrison Barnes and Kevin Herter have played and right. they're winning and they're winning. So like you just, instead of playing Monk, like we just play Herter and we move on. He's been really what good. Which hit for Kevin Herter all of a sudden? Like he realized he was good. I mean, dude, I like, he's a good basketball player that yeah. like, was just playing terribly. And now he's making threes again. Um, rebounding he's good he's just good peripherally so like kevin herter 52 feels like the best guy in this tier um Suggs at 5k eh, you know fine it's a good matchup i'd like to get to more orlando um dylan brooks he was fine in the lakers game they didn't need to extend him past 28 minutes he was in foul trouble because of course he was it was lebron um and that's all he does against lebron uh you have notorious like you just never don't recommend norm he was really good the other day I do think the minutes can stay pretty consistent yeah. as long as like he's going to play regardless, but it doesn't hurt having Paul George limited either. Cause that's like something that Norm can benefit from, right? Right. They play like the same position. So the biggest like mistake that I make almost on a night to night basis is like not just betting Norm Powell point prop every night. Cause they yeah, said it at like good. 12 and a half, 13 and a half. And more often than not, he's going over that point total. So, and I think it's a good, Good time to get to it while George is limited. Like, and I was while... at the Wizards. I bet he, it probably gets bumped because they're facing the Wizards here. Yep. Um, if Grayson Allen is out, do you give any Eric Gordon love here? I mean, Gordon, 33 yes. minutes the other night, 23 actual in that game. Yep. Um, 
I would definitely get to Gordon. I think there's a bunch of like very interesting similar-ish plays, right? Gordon, there should be a, a really high minute ceiling if Grayson Allen doesn't play. Yeah. Trey Murphy probably starts this game if Herb Jones is out. Like that's True. just an easy pivot into um in the lineup. Conversely, I think that bumps Jordan Hawkins too, because no Herb, like Jordan Hawkins had been in the ro- like the guy in the rotation. Like he he might play Trey Murphy minutes. I know yeah. he was down the last game, but um 29 minutes against in the Milwaukee game. I know that was a blowout, blowout aided. Well, but what do we make of Andy Black's uh 30 minutes? Well start of the second we'll half at 20 actual. John Isaac got you know, hurt in that game again. Fultz is uh wait, so Isaac, by the way, not on the injury report. Okay. Which um he so he left the game. Um, okay, so the report is he left the game for undisclosed reasons. Uh, uh, Fazan, Fazan Amir of the Six Man Show podcast said the Magic had planned the night to limit Isaac's minutes. So the early exit was already predetermined. So there's, and apparently there's no restrictions on Jonathan Isaac, just to keep that in okay. our minds here. Now that he matches up against Victor Wembanyama, um, <laughs> that's a dream for us. That's that's a mm-hmm. matchup. Um, so I think Anthony Black is going to back to kind of irrelevancy here. Um, there was no Markel Fultz in that game. Jonathan Isaac will be back to full capacity apparently. Whatever that is, whatever that means. Okay. We'll find out. But I'm skeptical. Black sees that type of those type of minutes when they're at full strength. Okay. Uh, let's go on over to small forward. Uh, again, Kawhi Leonard at $8,200. I, I, we went over this the other day. I don't know why. He went for 49 in a competitive game at 30, actually. He is not an $8,200 yeah. player. It's the Wizards. Yes. Yes. Uh, De- DeRozan tonight had seven combined blocks and steals. Just... Still waiting for a stack correction for Ayo Tathumo to get one of those. <laughs> hasn't come yet um I, you know again just a monster night in toronto 46 fantasy points for him um you know personal stats have been good scoring has been good at charlotte you can obviously fire that train up if you want uh to go there 7900 jimmy buckets at 7200 now uh 45 Whoa. 50 fantasy points the last two games now against sacramento in miami at 72 and he's and they're like he's like every game there's like the the everything the ceiling's falling off in miami like the the ceiling's opening up or what's the the sky is the sky is falling ah man no help there john um yeah. you had no help you had you were no help you were no help to me at all in that whole right. sequence thank you appreciate it right. um um and jimmy butler yeah he's just too cheap at that price yeah i'm with you uh franz wagner 7k not i, I like the price yeah, he had foul trouble last game, so he should be good. Uh, I, I'm with you there. Bogdan for 64. Denny, 61. A lot of guys we've talked about, obviously, down here. Michael Porter Jr. now, $5,700. Uh, feels pretty crazy. What's the Exum status? Doubtful, so he's not going to play either there. Um, where are we going uh, for some value small forwards? Uh, yeah, nothing to that 6K tier. I would go back to the Cam Johnson well. Um, 30 minutes in that game. Made all of his shots because Ben Simmons is back again. So uh, Cam Johnson, 52. Um, and then a bunch of guys we've already mentioned. If yeah, you could play NAW again if Conley is out. Cam Whitmore. Josh Green. Been, yeah, Josh Green, he's going to play a bunch of minutes. Um, super low floor, but... He's a fine player. Eric Jones is doubtful too. I mean, like they just no. They're no. Uh, what does Dallas have? Um, they're gonna call the. We're gonna get the injury report. It's gonna be all the G leaguers. Mm-hmm. Um, like, who do they have at small forward? AJ Lawson is a guy that they've played extended run at times. Um, he played twenty three minutes in that Houston game that way back when. Played thir- thirty one minutes in the game after. So AJ Lawson three thousand dollars would be another guy. Sure. Uh, your guy can't win more. Uh, had 20 actual and 18 minutes against the Lakers in that uh, blowout win there. 
I played 29 minutes against Brooklyn in the game before that. I mean, I don't know. You know, just always, always throwing it, always liable, get hot, stay on the floor. Mm-hmm. Um, anybody else that small forward? Mm, I don't think so. Power forward position then. They finally bumped them up over 9K. Victor Wembayama, one of our uh, loyal Fantasy Alarm followers, said he had a disappointing game uh, against Wizards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 22, 11, 4, 1, and 3 for 49 fantasy points. Uh, gave us the 5X we were looking for. Uh, happy to keep running him back. He's a 10K play. It's Orlando. I'm good there. Uh, KD Revenge. Did you see Did you see the Twitter thread with Kevin Durant regarding his return to Brooklyn? I mean, I saw I saw some comments that I don't I don't know what the thread is, but I saw comments that he doesn't expect to be cheered. He didn't, he didn't want a tribute video. Oh yeah. And, oh, okay. I did hear. I did hear. And it. some random person, uh, like a Nets fan account, um, said KD requested more trades than he did years spent at Brooklyn, and KD replied to that, being like. Me and this, you know, Twitter account are on the same wavelength here. So, like, <laughs> like it's pretty you know, funny. Katie's hilarious, like that. Yeah. Um, you know, 9,100 bucks for Kevin Durant had 40 for 47 fancy points. Like, I'm happy to run that one back. It feels like he might be a little bit more motivated in this one. Um, or maybe he doesn't care about these things. I don't know. Like, Katie takes some things personally sometimes, you know. Yeah, he, we found out. We found that out when we found out he had a burner on Twitter. Yeah. He definitely takes these. He that, the best part is how he doesn't use the burner. He's yeah, he doesn't like, care. Whatever. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, um, people know what I'm doing it, so here I am. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. Yeah, I think this is a a fun game to. He plays 40 minutes too, so like, you know, that yeah. on that that plus the. To be fair to Kevin Durant, who wanted to play in Brooklyn before <laughs> Kevin Durant went there? There was no that there was that not meant to be the worst or put together team like of all time with Harden, Irving, and Kevin Durant together? Like it was there it's it's interesting to think about that Harden saw it before everybody else did. Uh <laughs> Harden was the first one out and there he saw the writing on the wall, right? Like we think of Harden as this guy who just goes into places and ruins them. Well, right. James Harden might have I mean, maybe maybe the pandemic is the thing that ruined the Nets. I mean, Kyrie yeah. didn't play a whole year, right? right. Like, right. you know, we talk a lot about the impact of the pandemic on the world and society and sports. Right. The Nets were without their star player for an entire season. So, sure. Um, sure. now Kyrie, not known to put in a full year's work anyways, may have missed those games regardless. Um, but, you know. I'm not so spiteful from his tell. Oh, no, can't tell. Um, Miles Bridges, though, a guy that I am happy of what he does on the floor. Uh, $8,200. <laughs> I mean, Future uh, Phoenix, four huh? nine fantasy points. He'll be in Phoenix soon enough. But like until then, let's keep riding him in Charlotte right now. He's playing 40 every night. They lose. They were down by 30 against Utah, 41. They, were, they lost by 30 against the Knicks, 40 minutes. Like, it does... Not nope. matter. Nope. He's playing you super safe cash play, unless he's traded in the middle. Who of the replaces game. Miles Bridges when he gets traded? They just plug in PJ Washington. What would Phoenix even give back? Bowl, bowl? Like what's the what's the move? You know, right? Expiring like, as many expiring contracts as they possibly can. Yeah. So, right. I mean, I mean, just because the value of the expiring contract for like a team like Charlotte is like, true. You know. True. Um, yeah, so he's 8,200. It's great. I mean, Towns is going to dominate this matchup against Dallas. Yep. Yes. You know, they don't have, they have nobody to play, play against him. You got a clip, you got Kuzma at 79, Zion, I'm uh, sorry, Kuzma at 78, Zion at 73 here. Uh, Mobley came back, played 20 minutes, nearly double doubled. Uh, they're not going to play him. I just want to call it out. Um, where are we with the power forward in the mid tier? Definitely think Kuzma continues to roll here. He's been really good, um, really consistent floor, and the price has gone down. I like the Zion price, 7,300. He's been super consistent. Just, again, like the peripheral stats have kind of been falling by the wayside. Um, I don't have much, honestly, I don't have much interest in this mid-tier, John. I, it's just kind of like the value tier for me. Um, Aaron Gordon at 54, eh mentioned cam johnson uh it's in its value like mo wagner 
4,800. Yeah. Come on down. 25, 23 minutes the last two games. That's been great. Um, yeah, why, why, like, I mean, just uh, they, they reinsert him, right? And all of a sudden, he's like, hey, remember what I can do when you guys play me? Play it me makes me wonder. He doesn't – he DMPs when his brother was out. And then he starts playing when Franz is back. Is that, like – Ah. Just saying, I'm not like other option, you know, like dude, like I'm I play or my I, I play or I don't, but that's I think Jabari, yeah, Jabari's good. That would probably I mean, be the only other guy. The price drop on him lately, yeah, he was 7k, 6k, and now he's 57 coming off back to back 40 fantasy point games. The minutes are great, and like when Jalen Green, when Jalen Green's rebound luck runs out, right? Like. Jabari's probably Jabari's Jumar, Jumar, probably going to be a guy there. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, see, Nas Reed, though he doesn't always get, he doesn't actually get blow at run, but forty four hundred dollars. Um, Grant Williams. That's probably it. You say Grant Williams? I I mumbled it. I, I mumbled it. Yes. Um, <laughs> no. So I think let's let's just do this again. Uh, do we have to? Gregory Brown. 3K. Uh, Prosper is 3K. He was already recalled from the G League, so that he's already here. Uh, he's played 30 minutes in a game. He played 30 minutes in that Houston game, by the way, 12-22. Yep. 20 and 6. Yep. Just saying, like, if you want to play blah, you play these guys. Markeef is down here, 3K. Markeef Morris down here, you know? Markeef yep. Morris started, you know? I, I mean, they're down. What's their starting lineup? What's the Hardy, let's play that, let's play Hardy, that game Hardaway, here. Green, Williams, Lively? Lively's out. Lively's gash, gash the face. <laughs> it's Kleba or Powell, right? One of the yeah, two. Right. It's gotta be. Yeah. I mean, honestly, they could play them both. And then Grant on the bench. Sure. Or Hardaway. They still just no matter what, they just bring Tim Hardaway off the bench. They just don't care. They're like, actually, Tim, I know this game lined up perfectly for you to start, but you're coming off the bench. You're coming off the bench. Um, all right, center position. Joker's here at eleven three. He is questionable for this game. Maybe that's why it's two points. Yep. Denver's looking at OKC. Oh, OKC sitting everybody. We're sitting everybody. Yep. Um, Sabonis versus uh, Bam. Obviously the matchup. Sabonis coming off of a monster game for him. Twenty points, twenty six uh, rebounds. Missed one shot against Memphis. There. Uh, we Bam's one of the tougher matchups for centers in the league, though. Uh, Shingun don't really care for the for the matchup for him either. I know he can fill up the stat sheet, but what? When I looked at center, um, you know, at, at this matchup again. I mean, I don't know. Was it was there like a clear cut standout for you? Yeah, Shingun. For sure, Shingun. I think so. Fifty fantasy points, thirty actual per game against uh the front right. court, the Pelicans front court. Sure. Um, Valanciunas is. N- really uh this is a terrible spot for valentunas because shangun is so active um like within the offense mm-hmm. we're gonna see we're gonna see more larry nance for sure but i that's also like larry nance is a good athletic dude shangun is just so good in the post this is just a matchup nightmare for okay. um the pelicans that's i mean like he just did that to Anthony Davis, 31, 12, and 7. Yes. Like, just gave Anthony Davis the business, who's one of the best interior defenders. In the it's world. so weird, though. Like, he has that game, and then, you know. Well, the, Char- well, the, Charlotte, game, well, the Charlotte game was the Jalen Green. Can't yeah. do anything about that. Yeah, didn't, you know, Claxton, I guess, obviously a tough matchup for Brooklyn. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's been, He's been, you know, he's been very good. I think I was just more so scarred about the Charlotte game in my brain, thinking Charlotte. about his recent performances. Uh, yeah, um, that, yeah, that hurt. Didn't put in the re- didn't register yet the two night go game against the Lakers. So, um, all right, I'm fine going back to Shingun then and, and praying that he he comes through for us there. Uh, anybody else in this mid tier? I mean, Jared Allen still had a pretty good game. Mobley's still going to be limited against Detroit. Uh, Claxton, someone we continue to go to. I know Nurkic is generally a handful for teams, but. You know the mo- the minutes are going to be there for him. Was that a pun? Yeah. Was that a pun? Because he has a thumb injury. That was funny. <laughs> no, but it works. Works okay. for it. Works uh, for uh, got Wendell Carter at sixty-one. Gafford at fifty-nine. Uh, I'll throw a couple names 
out there as well. Um, Vooch, 75, Charlotte matchup is really good. Yep. Um, he's been a little underwhelming the last few games. He's been under fire from about Billy Donovan, though, telling him to shoot more threes. So, you know, that he's a pretty good three-point shooter. Um, he hasn't been this year, so we'll see if that continues to be something he looks to do. I don't know what to make of Jalen Duren, but he's coming off a 2020 game. Probably can't get there against Cleveland, but 2020 for Jalen Duren last game. Um, Gobert should smash. Wendell Carter, I don't love that the minutes are back, like, fluctuating. In I know he fouled out on that Dallas game, but yeah. eh. Um, Gafford's been really good. I think he knows he has to be really good because Marvin Bagley's breathing down. He his can neck. stay on the floor. The minute, you know, we know what he's capable of doing with the minutes. Can he stay on the floor against the Clippers? That's kind of. I feel like that's kind of been the conversation lately. He's been pretty good at it outside of the Minnesota game where he fouled out. But like sure. thirty minutes against Denver, thirty-one against Utah. John Collins very active. Twenty-eight against Detroit. Twenty-eight against Wemby. Owned Wemby in the fourth quarter of that game. Um, and then Nick Richards, 57. Nick Richards continues to be good. He w- he was bad against the Knicks. Uh, so is everybody because the Knicks are just really good right now. But um, 37 minutes again. Why, you know, as long as they're shorthanded, like they're, Nick, he's going to play like monster minutes. So Nick yeah. Richards for me. No arguments. Um, value centers. You're talking about Wagner already. Anybody else down here that you would consider? I mean, the Dallas guys, I guess, if they were to start. Larry Nance is thirty seven hundred dollars now. Uh, didn't come out. Didn't have a great game, but against Boston, but you know, twenty minutes were good to see. Yeah, I'd be okay with Nance. I think this is a game we get um, mid to upper twenties minutes. Uh, that was trending in the direction. I think you and I were talking about it in the Utah game that we were like, "Oh, he's going to play all these minutes," and then he was, and then they won by yeah. fifty. Um, I'm definitely interested in, in Larry Nance. Hey, if Jonathan Isaac starts, he's thirty eight hundred dollars. That's all I'm saying. We don't why know if he's gonna start. Why did he play eight minutes though? They came out and they said, I don't know. That was a planned thing. I don't know. Okay. Because it was a back to back. Like just they planned probably. on. All right. They also apparently there was undisclosed reasons that he left the game, but like. If there's no limitations and like they're like, hey, Jonathan Isaac's starting tonight, I would be like, huh, Jonathan Isaac's starting, you say. That that's that's how I view it. I don't know. I, I'd be okay getting to Jonathan Isaac. All right. I'll build a lineup. Where do we start? Jaden Hardy? Um, yeah. $4,400. What's our spend up? Wemby? Just looking there. Um, Booker? Yeah, Booker, Wemby, Shingoon. You like Shingoon. Let's see if we can get both in here. Let's see. That gets us 5,400. Hardy, Booker, Shingoon. 54. I mean, they're like playing Dallas is obviously like super risky, but also. Potentially super rewarding as well, you know. Like um, Josh Green in, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's yeah, like, no, like yeah. Cameron Grant Williams, right? I mean, oh, God. It's not great. Uh, 5,700 for play. We talked Jabari. I don't mind the Jabari play. Or do you think Jabari, Shingun, too much? I mean, they've, I mean, they coexisted last game. We don't have to. Someone like Cam Johnson would be. I would love to do Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas, I'm I'm okay with either Cam from Brooklyn. Okay, I, think I like both. both uh, power forward then. Do, 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 do. If you needed to play Josh Green there, you could play Josh Green there as well. That's true. What's our forward looking like then here? You could um, also play thirty one hundred dollar uh, Josh Richardson if you want. That's a, you know it's not a terrible pun play honestly on this slate so I'm I'm okay. He's thirty, going. dude. He's thirty one hundred dollars playing mid twenties minutes. Yeah. You know, like that's that is for no reason. You could also play Cam Thomas at small forward as well. That's an option. Yeah, what do we have here? Green. The screen. That's a um, 
6,800 either guard or forward. Yeah, Thomas. Or uh, center. Yes. Forward. Richardson as the guard. $6,800 util. Jalen Green, Tyus Jones. Oh, yeah, works. Jalen Green's a, ball a baller. Keep the ride going. You got Jaden Hardy, uh, Devin Booker, Brandon Miller, uh, Josh Green, Alfred Shingoon, Josh Richardson, Cam Thomas, Jalen Green. As an example lineup for everybody, we'll have the playbook out. We'll be back here live at 5 o'clock Eastern time to get you all ready for this uh, nine-game Wednesday main slate. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't ever miss a show. Get us in Discord. Find us on Twitter, and we'll catch you all later.